I didn't even know what was going on. I woke up out of the sleep and I was like delirious almost. It's been more than three months since a blood infection took Greg Manteifel's limbs and nearly his life. And also since the day doctors told him that he likely contracted the extremely rare case from a dog's lick, a bacteria found in dog saliva. What was your thought at that moment? It was just unbelievable when they told me what happened. I couldn't believe it. I've been around dogs my whole life, you know, and never thought something like this could happen. As the infection spread, Greg fought for his life with his wife Dawn at his side. At one point I did ask in ICU, is, is he going to make it? A team of doctors at Freighterd and the Medical College worked to save Greg's life, battling something they had never encountered. I have never seen a bloodstream infection with this particular type of bacteria or the amount of, of uh, tissue loss that Greg suffered. Now Greg is out of the hospital and doing physical therapy. He'll be fitted for prosthetics and have more reconstructive surgery over the next year. Where do you expect to be a year from now? Uh, pretty close to living a normal life, you know. And through it all, Greg says his outlook on life hasn't changed. No, not really. Just <laughs> You would think it would, but... <laughs> gotta, gotta keep moving on, you know. I'm just lucky to be alive, I guess. Doctors say they still aren't sure exactly how Greg contracted that bacteria. He says he was around a number of dogs uh, leading up to uh, when he began feeling the symptoms. And again, they say this case is incredibly rare. There is a GoFundMe account for the family and an upcoming fundraiser in Slinger. We have details of those at WISN.com. Patrick? It sounds like he has a positive attitude. Ken Wayne Scott reporting live in Wauwatosa tonight.